I don't want to set the world on fire I just want to start a flame in you Oh! Ouch! Okay No! <laughs> no! Hmm, what's this? Dear safety conscious citizen, we are writing to inform you that your family was not selected for inclusion in your chosen vault tech facility. Your deposit has been retained and your application added to a waiting list for your preferred vault. In the interest of your family's security, in the event of a minor nuclear event, please consider relocating to one of the areas where vault tech facilities are available without a waiting list. None. For a full list of vault tech facilities with available accommodations in exciting locales such as Oklahoma and newly annexed Canada, contact your local vault tech representative. Vault tech wishes you and your family the best of luck in the uncertain future. Best regards, vault tech, public relations department, Washington, D.C. Shame. Hello! My name is Shallow, this game is Fallout 3. We're back in Minefield. Now that that guy is dead, I've come back here and cleared the place out of mines. Uh, and we're gonna explore some of these little houses here. All the stuff that I missed the first time through. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, watch out for those mines out there, buddy. I'll take that. Um, these houses, by the way, are kind of nice because they've got all this, all this, uh, storage inside. So this refrigerator right here is where I have temporarily dumped all of my stuff. Because it's, uh, yeah, my inventory is filling up. <laughs> Eventually we'll have a place to store that. Right now we do not. Pre-war book, I'll take that. I think there's a quest that uses those, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh! Little dollhouse. Oh! It's locked. It's very hard. Yeah. We'll come back here at the end of the game and try to open that. <laughs> I don't think there are any mines indoors. I think we're probably safe. Bottle caps. Sweet. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Okay. How about upstairs? Anything good? Toy car. Medical brace. There's a lot of crafting supplies here. I guess, uh... I guess if you're into crafting all the craftable weapons... Ooh, lunchbox. If you like to craft weapons in Fallout 3, then I guess Minefield is the place to go. I think I've come across almost every crafting material here. First aid box. Yes! Oh, all the good stuff. <laughs> hmm. Well. Ooh, safe. Okay, here we go. So, here's... Ah, bobby pin removed. Safe's now open. <laughs> oh, that's so much nicer. Uh, for the easy locks, it's not going to matter all that much. But we'll just take all that. But for the harder locks, those take some time. It's kind of nice to just be able to spend a bobby pin and... Use, uh, open it. The medex over here is... Interesting. I guess these two didn't wait for... Oh! Sorry. Hang on. Oh, you've got a heavy skeleton. Uh, all right. Well, you know what? 200 years was a long time for you to be in bed, lazy bones. Get up. Get up. Get up. All right. We'll just leave you there. <laughs> Pre-war books. 
Is that all that's up here? All right. This house was not as exciting as I thought it would be. Uh, let's hope the others have more interesting loot. Oh, good. It's getting to be nighttime. Hopefully the raiders haven't figured out yet that minefield is a safe place to go now, so they'll leave me alone while I'm here. What's in the Benson house? Someone packing a suitcase? There's a radio. Yeah, let's leave it on. Little background noise never hurt nobody. Somebody upstairs? Um, nope. Just dead people. Ooh, sawed off shotgun. All right. Our transformation into Doom Guy has begun. Dead Wastelander. I guess you both tried to take shelter in here. That's too bad. Kids room, some roller skates. I don't remember what the lunch boxes do. Do you just make mines out of those? I think those are used for bottle cap mines, right? I don't remember. Toy car. Another toy car. So many of those. Uh, the toy cars are useful for making dart guns. And the dart guns are Absolutely overpowered in Fallout 3. Ooh, medicine journal. That's nice. Nothing in the desk. Anything in the dresser? Bobby pins. I don't think you spend a bobby pin every time you use the, uh, the mod to unlock. Uh, maybe you do. I think it's supposed to be a random chance. Even if it does use one every time, I think that's balanced. For skipping that minigame entirely, I'll do it. Ooh! Okay, time to slowly mo <laughs> waddle my way out of here. I'm not sure I needed that vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner, I think, is only used to uh, make the rocket launcher. And as previously stated, the rocket launcher kind of sucks. Don't even really want to use it. We'll, uh, we'll eventually try it out, though. Any medicine? Here we go. Very nice, very nice. Coffee pot. An awfully hot coffee pot, I'm sure. Oh, right, we can cook in, in Fallout 3 now. Hey, look at that. Ooh, we can cook the, the steaks? Does it just make them better? Rads plus one, HP plus one. How is that different than... than, than the regular? Hang on. What do, what do Salisbury steaks normally do? Rats plus two HP plus one. Does it just remove rads? I think it does, yeah. All right, well, while we're here, let's cook up our steaks, I guess. Less rads, that's not such a bad thing. Fewer rads, if you're pedantic. Steam gauge, sensor module. Oh, there's everything here for the paint gun. Nice. Unfortunately, this fridge is busted, so we can't store our stuff here. Let's dump some stuff into the suitcase. All right, and hopefully this next house is a little more interesting. The Zane house. Billy Zane, are you here? Post Apocalypse Billy Zane? No. Oh shit, there he is. No, they got him. Ooh. Magnum rounds. For my monster dong. Uh, we'll take the cigarettes. 
Those are always good to sell. Somebody always wants cigarettes. Oh, is that all one unit? It is, yeah. Okay. Another shotgun. Let's take all this. Yeah, and there's a safe back there. There we go. Ooh, that's a lot of good stuff. Nice. Plunger. All right, anything interesting upstairs? Toy car. Some darts. Man, once I get this dart gun, I'm going to be all set. I'll have ammo for days. I can repair it like crazy. All right. Last house. Oh! What the fuck? Who's making popcorn in here? Huh? Oh! We got roaches. <laughs> Did they shove some physics object around or something? What was that noise? Yeah, it must have been these skeletons. Ugh. All right, let's take their delicious roach meat. Look. Look. Roach meat. Ooh. Roaches in pajamas coming down the stairs. Darts, medical brace. All right, I don't know if the Abraxo cleaner does anything, so we'll just leave it for now. Ooh, egg timer. Yeah. Another vacuum cleaner. Uh, anything good in the fridge? Yeah. Lots of good stuff in there. All right, it sounds roachy up here. Man, they're not even fighting back. I feel kind of bad. Do they just live here? This is a family of roaches that just lives in this house. <laughs> well, my house now. Oh yeah, look, this guy's stuck in the wall. Must have been him making all that noise. That's your first aid. Lovely. Yeah, I should have just come to this house. I don't think any of the other houses were nearly as good. Iron? I don't know if the iron is useful at all. Probably not. Uh, is there a safe in this house? I didn't, I didn't see a safe. There it is. Um... Uh, another 45. We found a couple of those now. It's it's better than the pistol I'm currently using. The problem is they are not in great condition. But if we found multiples, we can repair them. Alright, the roach house was not... Not that exciting. More so than any of the other houses, but still not... Still not anything uh, to freak out about. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, right, it's nighttime. Okay, let's find a a bed with a skeleton on it and take a take a nap. There we go. This will do nicely. Not even a skeleton on this one. Yeah, that should be good enough. Just want it to be daylight. Oh, well, that thing get off of my screen. <laughs> These custom HUDs, man. It's still there. I think it's part of uh, the radiation mod I have. It, it, it seems to happen when I'm at full health, but I have radiation affecting my health bar. I get that thing stuck on my screen. I, I, I might just have to get rid of that radiation mod. It, it, uh... 
isn't worth it if it's gonna get in my way all the time. Oh, it's still here outside too? Okay. You know... <laughs> this has gotta go. Hang on. Oh, okay. Figured it out. <laughs> it's not technically the radiation mod that causes that. It's a conflict with the, uh, with the HUD mod I'm using. For some reason, the, uh, the HUD mod has a hit indicator built into it. And for some reason, it considers, uh, uh, your health being capped by the radiation mod as being fall damage. So it displays a little green indicator to let you know you're taking fall damage. <laughs> Just turning the hit indicator off for fall damage fixes it. Oh, look at that. We can use the grill. No time for that, though. <laughs> Welcome to Bethesda Games. You spend more time modding it than you do actually playing. I hope you like modding games, because that's what the gameplay is. <laughs> Luckily, I do. Uh, so the reason we came back over here is because there is a little facility that I saw. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's that cool little wall over there. That's where we're heading. I thought there was a road to get there, but I guess not. This just sort of ends. Okay, well, we're going over open wasteland, I guess, instead. So far, I'm fairly happy with how I have my game set up. The only thing I think I need now is something that integrates the uh, quick grenade button a little more seamlessly into this HUD. It's the only element that doesn't fade away. Oh, speaking of fading. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Where did they come from? Oh, you distracted me with your ghost antenna. Oh, <laughs> actually scared the piss out of me. Holy shit. Oh, a rifle, that's nice. Finally, something that's not a BB gun. What do you have? Bottle caps, ammo? Jeez. <laughs> Where did they come from? They set like an ambush for me. God damn. All right, let's get that rifle out. Because that's got to be better than... Pistol, right? What does that do? 46? There it is. 12? All right, never mind. This thing sucks. <laughs> 45 is kind of nice. That's really good, actually. Problem is, we don't have ammo for it. Ugh, man. We could use the sod off. Let's use that. There we go. Yeah. All right. Let's go break our wrists. Scrapyard. And if you've played Fallout 3 before, you know exactly why we're here. Well, you know kind of why we're here. Oh, what's going on over there? No. Oh. Oh my God. Running, 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 running. <laughs> When you shoot a gun, make sure you know what's behind your target. If it is a school bus powered by a nuclear reactor, uh, maybe... Maybe shoot at something else. <gasps> there he is! There's our boy! Looking a little different! Hey, Noodle! Aww. Hey, what's the matter, boy? You lose your master? I think you're the first dog I met that didn't try to eat me. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of a dog. You're pretty friendly, aren't you? Aww. Uh, come with me. 
It's good to have some company out here. Yeah, man's best friend. All right. <laughs>So normally you get dog meat here. I have changed dog meat into noodle. A half snake, half coyote abomination. <laughs> He's a night stalker from Fallout New Vegas. I thought I'd bring in a little bit of New Vegas to this playthrough. Good old noodle. Noodle is a companion I made for myself years ago when I was first playing New Vegas. <laughs> really good to have him back. Uh, I'll have a link in the description where you can download this replacer. Um, if it's not there right now, I'll put it up in the next couple of days. He won't come with this skin. That's made by somebody else. But I can put the dog meat to noodle mod that I made up for download. All right, let's get all this good stuff. Another sawed off shotgun. That's going to be good to repair stuff with. Noodle, you really messed these guys up before I showed up. Good boy. Oh, is this your... Oh, no, his head's gone. Is this your old master? I'm gonna take all their shit. Uh, I'll take the outfit, too. Oh, that's a lady. I'm sorry. That was the most abrupt rain of all time. We've got a dead regulator over here. Interesting. Okay. Must have been somebody who tried to uh, help out the poor wastelander that was under attack. Or your old master is the regulator. Are you a regulator's dog? Snake thing? Maybe. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get going. Um, because we're in the New Vegas engine, we do have the old companion wheel, which is nice. But just to make things a little more interesting, I do have the companions control mod, which uh, lets me pop up this little menu and control our companions that way. Back up a little bit. You're too close. Nice. <laughs> okay. Where are we headed to now? We have a mission from Moira to do. It's the Super Duper Mart way down here. Um, let's make a pit stop over in Megaton and sell off some of this stuff we've collected, and then we'll head to the Super Duper Mart from there. Yeah, let's do that. And hopefully it'll stop raining. Nope. Were you just no luck. About disarming that thing? Look, I'm getting around to it, okay? Jeez. You guys have been living here for who knows how long. It takes me a little longer than three days to disarm a nuclear bomb and he gets on my... Shut up. <laughs> uh, crater side supply. Here we go. Whoa! Okay. What's up, Moira? So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? <laughs> Not quite yet. I could. Oh, I can't lie to her. My speech skill is nigh enough. Haven't got around to it oh, yet. Oh, well, could you get on that? Thanks. Everybody in this town <laughs> is so pushy. Maybe I should help Burke blow it up. Oh, you sell backpacks? <gasps> Ooh. Ball cap with glasses? <laughs> We've already got our ball cap and goggles. I think we're good. Ooh, I want to buy a backpack, though. We do have enough caps for it, just barely. What do you think? Black, blue, brown? Let's go brown. I think that'll match the leather on our vault suit. There we go. Pleasure doing Good business hunting. with you. Come back soon. Oh, excellent. Be able to carry more now. Yes. 
Oh, that's so good. All right. Noodle, good news. Let's go raid a supermarket. <laughs> I have, n I, I don't remember that sign. There is a, what is it with? Bethesda and putting noodle Rome. bars in their post-apocalypse America. That's very odd. <laughs> Diamond City kind of made sense because it's a bigger sort of... I mean, it's Boston. I'm sure there were remnants of a ramen restaurant. Megaton is a weird location for it. <laughs> Eat some grub. I was just talking about that. Are you listening to me? All right. Uh, where are we going? This way. All right. Just checking all of our. Oh, we still got the BB gun around. I should have probably had Moira take a look at the uh, laser pistol. What is it, Noodle? What do you see? Bloat fly. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> My aim is awful. Cha-ching. Oh, I missed the Fallout 3 XP noise. It is a little annoying. It, it, it a little bit doesn't even really fit the game, but, uh, it is nostalgic. <laughs> Tale of Two Wastelands normally uses the New Vegas sounds for everything, but I, I got a mod that adds the, the old Fallout 3 sounds back in, which is nice. What are all these dead Brahmin doing here? Is this all, like, it's a Brahmin graveyard. Who's dumping dead Brahmin? What was that? Is that lightning? That was a weird noise. Oh, the barbed wire I keep forgetting. Alright. This has got to be it, right? I hear gunshots. Anything in the dumpsters? Oop. Oh, there's, there's some raiders fighting an iBot. <laughs> well, the iBot didn't, uh, oh, all right. Rip in peace, iBots. Let's go around the other way. I don't think there's a, a gate in that fence that we can go through. I think we have to go around this way. Cool. Meets back on the menu. Oh, he saw me. All right. Go get him, Noodle. Oh, no, you leave my dog alone. Oh, sneak attack critical on Noodle. No. Look, I'm sorry I shot you, but, uh,. I'm sorry. <laughs> More sawed off shotguns. Right. We should repair that. Ooh, a submachine gun too. That's nice. A vicious dog. Look at that. We picked up dog meat after all. And a hunter. Oh, the hunter is loaded. Let's take the goggles. Another rifle. Is that it for raiders out here? Yeah, looks like it. I think the iBots just explode when they die. I don't think there's anything left of them. So not really any point in looking for debris to loot. All right, 
Moira wants us to find food. Medicine. Let's see if we can... Yeah, we can repair these goggles. Good. The baseball cap's in rough shape, though. That gives me melee plus five. If we ever use melee, that'll be good to know. <laughs> Let's repair the shotguns. Nice. Should we have the submachine gun ready? Maybe. Let's try it out. Wait. What are you doing in the Nuka Cola machine, Noodle? What are you doing? Oh, no. <laughs> Give me that. Ooh, yep, yeah, I see raiders already. There he is. Oh, this is cool with the rain sounds on the roof. Neat. Oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have had my flashlight on. That's on me. <laughs> Get down from there. Whoa. Anyone else? Ooh. Oh, he's got a laser pistol. Good. Oh no, it's a flare gun. Never mind. You guys sleep in the bathrooms? Okay. That wouldn't have been my first choice if I was living in the in a supermarket, but alright. You do you. What do we got here? Drugs? Money? More drugs? More drugs? A bucket? Noodle, are we still in combat? No, we're not. Okay. Your icon got stuck on the screen for a second there. I wasn't really sure what was going on. Holy crap. Oh no. Shitter's clogged. Nothing. Okay. Well, the place looks pretty empty. Not a lot of food to be had here, I don't think. Yeah, that's all empty. It's empty. Bent tin can. More shotguns. Oh, I love that they're dropping all these shotguns. Ah, 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 ah. Where'd he go? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's in the pharmacy. That's good. We need the medicine. Oh, a lot of ammo. Uh oh. <laughs> you go get her, Noodle. Good dog. <laughs> nice laser pistol. Did you run into another one? Hey, hey, hey. Don't hit my dog. Hitting my dog with a tire iron. That's right, you're Jesus now. <laughs> A police baton, excuse me. Thought it was a tire iron. And post apocalypse in there. Still killing dogs. Alright, this is probably a bust. This place is totally empty. Moira's gonna be quite disappointed, I think. Unless... Nope, that's all empty. Well, we got some vodka. Duct tape. Ooh, another laser pistol. Dirty water. <laughs> I have an announcement to make. Attention all shoppers, we are having a sale today on D's. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to find a super Alright. 
Ooh, there's a bunch of laser pistols in here. What? Why did that guy attack with a police baton when he's got a laser pistol available to him? Oh, good. I didn't break a bobby pin that time. Nice. So it isn't every time. It is a random chance like I thought at first. Cool. There's yeah, some pork and beans and some vodka. That's about the extent of the food supplies available in here. Oh, food storage. Yes. Excellent. That really wasn't much. I don't think that's going to be any good for Moira's book. That's going to last me like two days. <laughs> Megaton is going to have to invest in some farming or something. All right, let's see if we got any medicine back here. Ugh, what is... Oh, no. Why is it even an option to sleep on that bed? Rag mines again. Ooh, bunch of ammo. Nice. Oops, steam gauge assembly. Ah, get out of here with that. <laughs> uh, locked terminal. Can we hack it? Yes, we can. So this is the hacking mini game. If you're unfamiliar with it, we'll do it just once. Um, oh, there's, there's a way to make these easier. I'd, Where's the... Are there not any hidden ones? Okay, let's just do this. Fencing. Members. Central. Oh, okay. You know what? There we go. <laughs> this gauge lock. The lockpicking minigame doesn't bother me that much. The hacking minigame is infuriating. It's simple enough to figure out, it's just time consuming. It it brings the whole game to sort of a screeching halt every time you run into it. I don't I don't like that. Duct tape. Camera. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. We're back. Somebody open up the Oh hang on. Right here. Get ready, Noodle, they're coming. Oh lord, they coming. Uh, laser pistol. Let's repair. Oh, buddy. Here we go. Where are they? They're up at the front of the store. They're by the intercom. Oh, there's one. Got her! <laughs> oh! Nope. Oh, only a 24%? Come on. Damn it. Cool. And another shotgun. <laughs> and more energy cells. And a laser pistol. Man, this is, this is better for weapons than it was for, uh, food or medicine. Oh, there's more food storage. Uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe we're doing all right for food, actually. <laughs> Where's that one that I disintegrated? There she is. Come here. Yes. Another submachine gun. All right. Now, if you don't mind, oop. Does she not know I'm here? She's got another laser pistol. Zoom. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, at this point, they're just sort of feeding me ammo. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Cool, let's finish looting this place. Ooh, we got a mini nuke. I know you thought the, uh, the mascot for Fallout was the Vault Boy, but no, it's, it's this. <laughs> Little football-sized nuclear warhead, that's what it's all about. Ooh, and there's the medicine. Of course, and the pharmacy supplies. Perfect. Moira's gonna be real happy with us, Noodle. Oh, and we got a whole bunch of Nuka Colas. Nice. Including some Quantums. <laughs> when I first played uh, New Vegas, I set a challenge for myself to heal only using Nuka Colas and Sarsaparillas. I could uh, repair limbs using stim packs, but nothing else. <laughs> and that works surprisingly well in that game. I think combat is avoidable enough and you find enough sarsaparillas that it ends up working out. I thought about doing the same thing in Fallout 3. I don't think... I don't think you can do it. There's too much combat. There's not enough Nuka Colas to go around. Oh, Noodle, I wish you could carry stuff for me. I don't think you can. No, I don't think you can. Dang it. Ah, uh, we need a companion that can take one of these backpacks and carry stuff around. I need a pack mule. Alright, what's going on with this Protectron pod here? Uh, very easy, but I bet the employee ID here let us in, right? Probably. Now oh, that's just a letter from... from Minefield. That's not what we want. Uh, run maintenance routine. Can I give you my employee ID? Hey, bud. Loading personality. Rob Doe. R04 V9. Office helper. All right. Running default office protocol. Error. Loading daily agenda. Error. Security breach detected. Please stand back. <laughs> I should have activated this guy first. Are there any more raiders in Move here? Along, please. Yeah, if they come back, this guy will take care of them. Maybe this place is safe now. Anything back here? Oh, more storage. Oh, no. Ooh, the pharmacy key. Well, I already picked the lock, so. If they come back and they lock the door again, <laughs> that'll be useful. Oh, but I guess they can't, because now I have the key. Oh. Get pranked, raiders. Can't lock your pharmacy now. All your drugs will be mine. Another motorcycle gas tank. I remember these motorcycle parts being way harder to find. Maybe Tale of Two Wastelands fixes that. But I definitely do not remember being s just flooded in motorcycle parts the way I am now. Alright. Let's get back to Moira. Let's tell her the good news. We found food. We found medicine. We found a very good boy. Oh, and it's nighttime, and it's still raining pretty hard. Cool. Well, it's nighttime again, of course, so we'll see Moira in the morning. We'll head over to Moriarty's and see what's happening in there. Ben's restroom? That's a whole separate area? I guess so. Uh, okay. <laughs> Three bottle caps in the garbage can. Huh. 
Interesting. <laughs> Moriarty's. What's up? What is happening? The physics engine is just freaking out right now. I, I guess it's a Bethesda game. It'll do that. Oh, we can... We can break into the cash register. Hey, Nova. Hi there. I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. Well, that's depressing. <laughs> hey, I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. <laughs> uh, that's my dad we're talking about. Um, I'd love to spend time with you, but I need to find my dad. Talked to Moriarty already. He's trying to charge me for the info. Enough with the tough chick routine. Tell me more. Look, if you can give me information or point me in the right direction. Hey, look, sweetie. I'd love to spend time with you, but I need to find my dad. Hmm, I'd love to spend time with you, too. Look, uh, I can help you. Get into the back office of this place. Moriarty keeps a terminal there. Everything you want is inside the terminal. Here's Ooh. the password to it. Ooh, nice. Too bad you're so young, kid. I could teach you some stuff you'd never forget. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, I need an adult. Um. Wait, what's it take to hire you? It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. Oh. I don't care. I get paid either way. So after you said that, we can still do it? All right. Hey, what's the word with that ghoul? Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Um, where did he come from? Do you ever, you know, work with him? <laughs> the creepiest motherfucker alive would ask that question. Um. Why is Moriarty so hard on him? Let's talk about something else. Where did he come from and where did he go? He don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. Hmm. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Ah, cool. So Moriarty is a slave owner on top of just being an asshole. Uh, let's talk about something else. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? Um, how much is a room? Well, for you, a room and some company will run you 120 caps up front. No, thanks. Okay, then. <laughs> I have to Take go. Take care of yourself, hon. Moriarty's not even in here right now. It's just. Look, I told you people, I'm busy. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ooh, nice. Wait a minute. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay. I already have the password. I got bad karma for nothing. Here we go. Moriarty's property only. Motivational phrase of the month. When the chips are down, it means the Brahmin is empty. Visitors. James, Vault 101. He has a file on Mr. Burke? This guy is a class A weirdo. One day I'm wiping down the bar and the fucker comes from out of nowhere. I didn't even hear the door open. He tells me he's here to wait for some sort of an opportunist to come through. Whatever. As long as he pays for his drinks, he can stay here until that damn bomb explodes in the center of town for all I care. <laughs> well, about that. Dad! Out of nowhere, James came back. And then a bunch of texts got in the way. <laughs> Since he stayed here before, he asked me where the hell he could get a lay of the land and find out what's going on in the world. I told him about Galaxy News Radio in the ruins of DC and that guy 3Dog. 
Then like that, he was gone again. I remember the first time he showed up almost 20 years ago. I never expected someone to actually want to or be able to get into a vault, but he must have had his reasons. He had his kid with him, some baby that wouldn't shut the fuck up. Normally I would have kicked someone like that out of my place, but he had a way with words. <laughs> he had a high speech skill and charisma. Then, like that, he ducks into Vault 101 and he's gone for almost 20 years. Nice guy, I guess, but never spends enough caps. Cool. Well, nowhere to go now. Does Moriarty have anything else good back here? A metro ticket? <laughs> and some bobby pins. We'll take the bobby pins because we had to spend one to break into his cabinet for no reason. More ammo parts. I don't think we need that iron. Hey, cop. Um, All right. Princess seek an audience with her king. Oh. I'm tired. I think I'm gonna knock off another. I know you won't mind. Welcome to Moriarty. Is Moriarty just upstairs? Are we all just hanging out in here? What is this? I can always count on you for sympathy and respect. It's why you love me, Nova dear. Oh. <laughs> oh, nothing, nothing happening in here. Don't, don't worry about it, Walter. Oh, that just put me over the limit, didn't it? All right. Well. We're not going to pay for a room again. We're just going to squat in here, I think. And wait for the morning. Ooh, some ammo in there. <laughs> While we're being bad, we're just going to rob Moriarty blind. <laughs> it's only fair. He would do it to us, too. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? It wasn't easy, but I got the food and medicine. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Look how happy she is. I can't believe people don't like Moira Brown. <laughs> She's lovely. <laughs> uh, I found raiders and a robot. It was hardly a safe place to scavenge. Ooh, Intelligence 7. Mm, actually, the Raiders were using the pharmacy as a place to store their best gear. Uh, I had a fun party with some Raiders. Then a guard robot jumped out of a cake. Uh, let's, let's use the Intelligence one. So you're saying that they acquired a well-protected stash? Hmm. I wonder how many other places are hiding treasures behind monsters. Hmm. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit, my treat. Tastes kind of great after a while. Oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, uh, better. <laughs> oh, nice. I don't remember the food sanitizer. That's pretty handy. Um, food and drink improved. Nice. Hey, that completes the first chapter's tasks, correct? Yup, you've done a great job. I just need to add in the section on how to cook rat, and this chapter's done. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We still have got two more chapters to go. Nice. Three stim packs. <laughs> oh, did we just level up? I think we did. Yeah, we did. <laughs>